their days, this is one of them, when you wonder what your role is in this country and what your future is in it. There are people who I believe get into politics because they've been impacted by everyday people. I think they're in the minority. Um, and I think there are some who get into politics and then get caught up with the comfort of the political realm and they forget. Right after TARP and the financial crisis and all that money kind of given away to the banks, people said, wait a minute, since when as free marketers are we about giving money to the people who basically created the economy? It's all about money, it's all about, you know, it, it, the individual stars or the individual stories of the people don't really matter. It's all about just what makes money. And a lot of it is racially motivated. A lot of it is very sexist. When you look at the Democratic Party, you look at uh, the, the demographics they win most strongly now. It's really highly educated, high income earners. God, everybody's got their hand in that cookie jar for something. And that's the part I don't like with the Democrats, is I know why 10 of those people are there. The love affair they used to have in large part with the unions and the working class and working people has, has greatly kind of diluted itself. Our guys keep selling us out in Washington, D.C., and it doesn't seem like that anything's changing there. And, and while you might say that Democrats are in the pockets of Wall Street, so have the Republicans been. And that's why you had to Occupy Wall Street on the Democrat side. They were raging against their rich fathers and mothers, although they were all mostly white, mostly brown educated, mostly Ivy League educated, high middle class kids themselves. Though they were raging against their granddad's machine, they still want to have granddad's company. <laughs> they just want to figure out, well, I can do more with it, I can be fair with it, but I, I don't want anybody necessarily coming in here competing with me. Teddy Roosevelt is a lot like uh, Trump in some day. I mean, at the time you had the, the big Rockefellers and Vanderbilts and they, you know, the industry, they had all of a sudden aggregated all this wealth and power and Teddy kind of came in and said we got to break it up, Standard Oil, and, and we have to break that up. And that was an important part of kind of revitalizing the system. Everybody, I think, has some type of idea of what the government is, so they do what's best for them, ultimately, no matter what.